What's going on, guys? I want to let you guys know that this weekend is Manscaped's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. It runs all weekend. I'm going to show you guys what you got. Check it out. This is manscaped.com forward slash RBP to support me and the channel. Or you can use your Black Friday code and get 25% off. And if you just go to here and you hit shop now, it will take you to the best package they have on their site. The Performance Package 4.0 comes with the Skin Safe Manscaped Lawnmower. Comes with a nose trimmer, the crop reviver, and the crop preserver. Uh, you can also get these boxers, a travel case, and a host of other things on their site. If you scroll back up, it'll give you a little bit of the information about each item that you're getting and how important they are and the quality that it's built with. Uh, they kind of got everything, guys. And this is the weekend. Ladies, if you want to get something for your man, get to manscaped.com forward slash RVP. Pick up the lawnmower package 4.0 get them something really good for christmas and guys if you want to make sure you're taking care of for your lady get to manscaped.com forward slash rvp get the deodorants get the lip balms get all the trimming accessories you need make sure you look good check it out guys this weekend 25 percent off black friday cyber monday manscaped.com Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I never know which state has and which state doesn't. <laughs> I know exactly my point. Just started to start laughing. I, I, I know exactly what he, you saw this. You saw this? Who had this? This? Recording started. <laughs> oh my God. That was so funny. I uh, wonder how many people caught that besides me and you. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm sure everybody did once it, once it goes live. Anyway. How are you guys? Jose, how are you doing? You look fresh and young. I'm fabulous. <laughs> What'd you do? You shave shave your beard? Get a tan? What is it? No, I'm just handsome. You got a filter oh. going there? You got a filter? You look younger. Filter. You know what it is? I, I I stopped even I was only on TRT. I stopped that because I'm I'm um trying to fix some certain issues. And uh so I haven't been on anything in a long time now. How long so have you been? I, how long have you been off? Off and do, how do you feel? Well, I've been off any sort of contest regimen. No, no, since... no. No, I mean, I, I mean, you said you were on TRT and then you went off TRT also. So you've been off a off. month. A month. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm I'm on Clomid. I'm uh, getting things moving. And uh, I mean, I did deadlifts tonight. I did four plates. Pretty easy. That's good. It was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess, man. My joints are crazy, so yeah, I don't do anything stupid anymore, anyway. But yeah, I feel good. I, is, I know what you mean. Why like, is my camera so bright? What's I know you. Have, you look like you have a filter on. <laughs> I don't have a filter. <laughs> <laughs> His face is usually super tan. Who's Fuad's? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like a throw in your mouth. Was that a sneeze, a <laughs> cough, or a vomit? You know, I went to urgent care, <laughs> urgent care today. What's wrong? Is that, is that better? They, they said, uh, they said go, "What's wrong?" I go, "My throat and my ears are killing me." And they go, "Sorry, we're not seeing patients with any symptoms." You have to take a COVID test care. or anything? I was like, "What? What the fuck's a hospital for?" Yeah. yeah, urgent care. They said they're not seeing anybody with symptoms. So you have to cut. You sense. only. So you only go there if you're healthy. Yeah, I was like, who, I go. So who are you seeing? You just saying hi to the people that feel good. Yeah. People feel good come in. And say, yeah, hi. yeah. What the fuck, dude? This fucking world is so stupid. I know, man. I know. Um, you, you got COVID, COVID, guy? No, dude. I don't. I just probably. I'm just probably sick, or I have like a like a sinus infection. But I woke up, my ears and my throat were killing me. It's, it's going around. He's got Corona. <laughs> yeah. He's got or maybe corona. Uh, the new thing, RSV. You got RSV. Got, uh, what? Monkey, monkey pox. Oh, That's maybe a combination. RS. No. Monkey pox. Yeah. That's a gay disease. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You can't say that, Jose. You can't say well, that. it's true. Wait, gay? You can't say now? Well, you can't blame the whole disease on gay people. It's they said they spread it. <laughs> they do. Why can't we say? I thought it was like known. I don't know. The only people I know who have it. I just know you're going to get in trouble. I know we're going to get trouble for it. That's all. I just. Well, I, I, we've, been, yeah, we've been getting in trouble for everything. I've been lately. I, I don't I, know I, a straight person with monkeypox. 
<laughs> and I know many gay people with monkeypox. So. You know many gay people? I know tons. You know tons of gay people. Oh yeah. How many gay people do you associate with on a regular basis? Uh, many. Uh, almost, <laughs> many. Uh, yeah, almost daily. Who? A lot of my clients are, are gay. Uh, people I train why, on a regular basis. Is that why they're your clients? <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, throughout my career of training people, I've never not had gay clients. Really? Yeah. When you When you have gay clients, do you find that they're easier to joke around with about gay shit than like yeah non, non yeah, gay than non gay people oh yeah yeah for sure my gay friends make fun of gays more than anybody that i know i find that people are that are the most virtue signaling people are usually the people that don't that aren't the thing you're making fun of yeah, yeah i have gay <laughs> i have gay friends that make fun of the way gay people act yeah mm. yeah yeah i've heard that before too yeah me too so huh. Interesting. Um, Jose, I was going to say when you were saying you're off TRT, so I was going, I think the longest I went without doing a shot was six weeks. I find that because I was doing the same thing you're doing. I'm like, you know what? I just don't want to do anything. But I find every time I get to like three or four weeks, I can really start to feel it. So I always what, have to like, I end up doing a shot at least once a month. Like, what do you feel for it? Uh, I just feel like a moodier. I feel a little bit yeah. run down. I definitely don't recover the same at all. Like workouts start to hurt a little bit more. Yeah, so. I'm noticing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> what were you smirking at, guy? You're going to say my boner don't, my peepee don't work? No, because when Paul <laughs> said that, it reminded me of the start of the conversation where he pretended to have a gay dream. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, tell me about it. He was like, well, tell me about it, fool. And I just started to tackle myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I watched that front double biceps cartoon 50 oh, times over, and I was just crying to myself. <laughs> that guy's um, funny. But, uh, the one thing, Jose, is I never took any clomid or anything either. So I don't know if that's going to help you, like, bridge the gap somehow. Are you trying to get, like, your natural test restarted? Yeah. In in my uh, swimmers started. Oh, oh. oh, trying to be a daddy. Well, I just want to see if it'll work. HCG worked for me. HMG. Yeah. We've talked well, to second time. It worked like a charm. Listen, I just, I just got a message from a friend who said that I should call Ben and thank him for him because he finally got his wife pregnant. Because he was using the well, proto, he was using the protocol that Ben told him which about. Was, which was what? I think the main part is M HMG, but Ben no HMG. It's all oh. all three of them. Stop saying Clomid, HCG. HCG, HMG. Because <laughs> that's what I use, and it worked worked for me. No, no, I know that, but uh, no, Ben said that he. I don't remember. Don't I don't want. To, I don't want. To, yeah. Don't quote me. I don't remember if he said he had low or no sperm, but he said he used HMG and that worked miracles. Huh. Really? So other people have actually said that too. That that have the same yeah. issue. I never heard of HMG. <laughs> I never. Yeah. Did, I never did either until Ben told me. My doctor, when I was trying to get my wife pregnant the second time, my doctor told me to. He put me on HCG. I, they put you on a crazy happening. amount too, isn't it? Like three thousand yeah. IU, like two day, twice a or every other day or something like that. If every I recall, day. yeah, yeah, and it yeah. worked. Like within a month or two, she. But was But I don't pregnant. think you ever had any problems though, did you, Paul? I mean, you got you, the first time you got her pregnant, you were on, weren't you? Yeah. Um, Second time though, I think I was just on TRT, but uh, it just wasn't happening. Yeah. Huh. Um, wasn't happening. <laughs> I just. Uh, so you said you have some issues. Do you want to? Do you sh care to share it all, or do you want to leave that private? Yeah. No. No. I don't. I don't care. This is. Uh. This is how people learn. So first of all, throughout my entire career, I never had blood bad blood work ever. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm talking full heat of of olympia prep sure. never bad blood work until just recently and okay. for the first time in my life my hematocrit was crazy high what's oh i've had high? that what's 59 high? oh we measure it they have, a different, they have a different yeah. unit measurement paul what was yeah, your okay. heat of i don't know that exact it, it's a lot better though i since i stopped everything a month ago and um and i just went and had it checked again and then had to do a blood dump. Uh, so it was down to 55. And then they just took 500 milliliters of blood from me. What did you say and your hematocrit, hematocrit was? It was 59. Mine's 54. Yeah. High, end of, high end of normal is 51. Okay. So right. the, I, 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 I did my test in the U.S., Paul. That's why I have the same number he does. Okay, okay. Yeah. Here it's yeah. 180 is considered high in Canada. Yeah, we have a different unit of measurement. I don't know exactly how, what the different – I don't know what the measurements are. 
I've been as high as like 215. Yeah, but we don't know like what the what the comparison would be in their in their unit of measurement. No, but I was like 30 points over on our scale. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell us. Yeah. But yeah, mine's at 54. So the reason I want to talk about this is I just started working with some people know I just started working with Merrick uh health. That's nor more plates, more dates company. And they're they're sponsoring me and they actually sent me for a full panel of Budwork. So I wanted to talk about this with you. But so your hematocrit is high as anything else out of out of the range? My iron was really high too. Iron was high. That goes hand yeah. in hand, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I and, think uh, my iron was my iron's actually normal. Now you want me? To, I want to go see if I have my blood panel downstairs. Now you got me wondering. Do we eat a lot of red meat, Jose? Well, I think this is good. Uh, you I know do. what, Jose? You're right. I think this is good for people to to hear this. Yeah. No, I do eat a lot of red meat, and I don't know why. I think it's just part of getting older. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, because I was doing two hours of cardio, I was eating like a rabbit, you know, and it my blood work was never bad, nothing. And it and now it's um it, it was bad. They so, say um they say bad sleep habits too can raise it. Definitely. So, well that's for sure with blood pressure and things like that. But uh Jose, are you still doing a lot of cardio or no? In the last month I haven't been. Okay. No, uh, not it, but typically I do it four or five days a week. I was just telling Paul, so me and Paul started jogging yesterday and today to do cardio again because I got my blood work and it was really shit. Yeah. And uh, I think that makes a huge difference. Well, cardio? Had, like the intense cardio, especially like doing yeah. like jogging, even at a light, a low speed for me, gets my heart rate up to like 150, 160. Yeah. And I do Jog it for, outside. No, 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 on the treadmill. So my heart rate gets up to like 150, 160. And I, right now I'm doing like five minute intervals of running. But last time I was running in the summertime on a consistent basis, my heart rate, my resting heart rate went from like high 80s, low 90s to high 70s. And it's my, huge. And my, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I felt, dude, you don't know how crazy, like how much better I felt. Like I wasn't breathing heavy. Uh, my I got off my blood pressure medication because I started to get dizzy. <laughs> and my doctor was like, dude, your blood pressure is too low. You got to stop. If you're going to be running, you've got to stop your blood pressure medication. Wow. Uh, yeah, because my blood pressure had dropped so much and my mm. red blood cell count had dropped from all the intense cardio. Uh, did you feel more energetic too? Yeah, I felt great. My yeah. my sleep was better. Like when I was awake, I was more like more awake. So I think the there's something to like that high intensity cardio and like really getting your heart rate up. Mm. Yeah. So I used to do intervals on the step mill every morning. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's why I think I was able to, you know, escape having any any blood, bad blood work at all i've Which, never had high blood pressure ever not once me either I should, yeah my doctor told me once uh one of my doctors that having high hemocrit or whatever hematocrit hematocrit um yeah he was like it's not like that big of a deal he was like because if you live in a high altitude area like colorado you'd have a high number too just from being a high altitude well, i just want to say i'm not a blood pressure expert by any means but i just want to say <laughs> something that people that are have taught me in the last last through a couple podcasts and talking to different doctors your blood pressure is a puzzle it's not a line item mm. so when you see him like your hematocrit's high you can't just say it's high because of it's high yeah. i gotta i gotta mm. go run on the treadmill it's gonna lower it yeah. there, there could be a number of dis different reasons why it's high that's why yeah. when people send me their blood work and like hey can you read this for me i'm like no because everything reacts with something else Mm. so your hematocrit could be high because of a number of different reasons it can't you know yeah. it's not like a you can't read blood work like a line item mm. yeah. you have to you have to understand that whatever you're looking at that's fucked up could be fucked up for four different reasons and you have to yeah. be able you have to see an expert for them to be able to pinpoint why it's happening mm. so, so their I, first thing was uh, to pull the test right so away the, that's like, what they told you stop yeah. that yeah 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 so we, we did that and, and obviously hydration plays a role. Um, so I have to make a better effort of chugging water throughout the day, which I don't do. But how versed, how versed are <clears throat> the people that are doing your blood work? Are they like lab analysts? So like, are they performance lab analysts? Or yeah. Just... Yeah. No, this guy is a, a specific. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, for what I'm going for. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just wanted people to be careful too, because I tell this, I tell, told the story before on the podcast. I had a, my first doctor that I went to see that got, that I did blood work with when I was like, I don't know, 20 fucking eight or something. He calls me, his secretary calls me. She says, doctor's got to see you right away. There's a problem. And I'm like, what the fuck? Right. So I go in there and he's like, your uh, liver enzymes, your ALT or something like that was 43. 
I'm like 43. I'm like, okay, what's normal? And he goes 38 or something. I can't remember. And I'm like, so it's five pounds, above, five points above. I'm like, is that, is that bad? He goes, yeah, it's bad. Whatever you're doing, you gotta stop doing it, whatever, blah, blah. You know, come to find out like a couple years later after seeing like a real lab analyst that knows what we're doing with hormones and whatnot. Yeah. They're like, look, your liver enzymes, you know, you don't want them to be elevated, but like, they're nothing to worry about until you reach triple digits. Yeah. Like if yeah. you're at, if you're at 60, 70, 80, it's not necessarily a good thing, but it's not like the world's going to end. He's like, when you start getting to a hundred, 200, then you need to start really checking something. Yeah. So you can of- also affect your liver enzymes by a crazy leg workout the day before. Yeah. yeah. And they don't yeah. tell you that, like, don't train for <clears throat> four hours before blood work. Yeah. Sometimes well, I'll go two. sometimes I'll go two days without training. Right. Just um, to make sure. I had a doctor tell me once because my, tr- my creatine kinase was really high. You know, muscle. <laughs> yeah, he told yeah. me that I already, he, he said, either you already had a heart attack or one's about to happen. This is 10 yeah. years ago because yeah, yeah. he never seen what? CK level so high. Yeah. Well, because he because, never seen CK level so high before. Because it's a muscle wasting enzyme and because yeah. we're trained. So the muscle's broken down. So yeah. your CK levels are through the roof. And this is back when Fuad was full blown. So I was training with him every day, you know, get, get destroyed. <laughs> your CK level is like <laughs> 4,000. For sure. My cortisol <laughs> levels are probably super high too. Uh, what else, anything else in your blood work, uh, Jose, or pretty good everywhere else? No, everything else was good. That that's the most impo- important thing. Mm. I went to a urology specialist okay. that's trying to. I mean, they're they're very confident. They're like, you can get it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they're doing now is just trying to send the signal from my brain to my balls to get to start working. working again. <laughs> And neither one of them are fucking that big. They're so. not talking. They're, they have a falling out. <laughs> yeah. Your balls yeah, got a brain with a beef with your brain. I got to pee upstairs and get on downstairs, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're just trying to wake some shit up. And uh, in, in, in doing so, they had to look at my blood and they were like, you're a matocrit. And they, they're not saying it's like brutal. They're just saying yeah. it. You're at slightly increased risk of stroke and heart attack, and um, you don't want to be there. So well, let's I immediately mean, lower it. Yeah, yeah I blood dump every 52 days because my hematocrit hemoglobin, my mom has high hemoglobin. My, mine's been in the 17, 18 range always. Yeah. I don't know if 52 days too. makes sense, though, guy. Hmm? I don't know if 52 yeah. days makes sense because I remember I had... 56. Day- if you do double yeah. red... It's like 70 something. No, no. The only reason, and look, I'm not, like I said, I don't know this for sure. I only know because Dan Gardner was on my podcast and this guy's like super fucking lab analyst genius. Yeah. And uh, he was saying that your blood recycles itself every 90 days. So, okay. but you might be going too soon is what I'm saying. No, if my hemoglobin, my hemoglobin and hematocrit are too high, it's yeah. actually better. Okay. To get rid of it. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying like if, and I'm trying to make sense of this while I'm asking you. Yeah. If your blood recycles itself every 90 days, then it wouldn't make sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it make more sense to wait? Until- well, the more blood you get rid of, the lower your hematocrit hemoglobin is. So even if you, if you get rid of more, the more, the better. You know what? Next time we have this discussion, I'm going to have fucking somebody on that knows what they're talking about. Yeah. I asked Dan about it, because yeah. I have the same problem as Guy. I asked Dan. No, about I know it. I, that what I just said is fact. When you're no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Fact. No, no. I'm not saying you're wrong, Guy. I'm just saying we're talking about a lot of like very complex shit and it would make yeah. sense to have somebody on that like knows yeah. exactly what we're talking about so that we're not giving out bad information yeah yeah. Um, my buddy's a friend of mine's been dumping every two weeks oh they what? let you do it there or you get yeah. paid for it there too don't you um <laughs> it was what you do. <laughs> do you really yeah i think okay, right? who's smoking i love it because i keep seeing the fucking puff of smoke come by like a no drink. it's a dehumidifier yeah, i mean uh 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 humidifier wait a minute do you guys get paid to fucking blood dump you, no. Some of them might. I don't know. I, I think they give you like a, US. they give you like a gift card to like Chick Fil A for ten bucks. Oh, nice! Better. You get you get free cookies here. Yeah, yeah. They don't, have, they don't even want my blood. As ma- they just as many as you want. Do it at the hospital. They just oh. throw it away. They just dump it. Yeah, yeah. garbage. I was told by my doctor that they're going to dump it anyways if they find anything in it. So I don't you know. Every time they take my blood, I get a thing of where my blood is, who it's helped. Really? No yeah. way. Really? Yeah. They can't use. Oh. Blood that is has high hematocrit. Wait a minute. When you oh, give really? blood, when you give yeah, blood, yeah, it's no good. Wait a minute. When you give blood, they're trying to take it out of me. Why would they put it in someone else? Well, someone who's low, maybe. Can yeah. I ask guy a question, please? Yeah, you're all confusing me though. What's up? You give blood, 
And yeah. then they send you a thing that says you get, get your an blood. Email and they say like your blood, like your got blood went to Marcy. Help. Marcy, thanks you. So a little help. bit of guy all over the country. I'd be like the next time I get one, I'll send it to you. That's so crazy. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I'd be like, I don't want that guy to have my blood. Send some bills. <laughs> so you, you, don't exactly like, you don't give me like detailed information. Oh, okay. you, should, you should send him a send him a, like you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, this is the kind of blood you got. Bah! Yeah. <laughs> You guys feeling jacked? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah I, I did my blood, my fucking. Cl- uh, so there's no more McDonald's food ad. He's dead. Uh oh. You look like you lost some weight. Uh, McDonald's food ad is dead forever. What happened? How bad your cholesterol? My cholesterol is fucking dog shit. <laughs> What's my, dog shit? It's just bad. My, the, I had a meeting with my Merrick Health physician yesterday, and he was like, "Dude, your cholesterol is really bad." He's like, "Your LDL is bad. Your HDL is too low." He's like, your fucking sugar is too high. He's like, everything's bad. Everything in your blood work is bad. He's like, change whatever you're doing. So I'm like, well, I've been Uber eating every other night. And he's like, stop doing that. <laughs> so, I'm like, I train really hard. He's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like your fucking diet is shit. <laughs> so Diet's that bad? I, I eat out three times a week, probably. At least. <laughs> Shut up, Jose. <laughs> At least, yeah. Okay, but see, see, maybe, 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 see how he said eat eat out is one thing. Uber eats <laughs> no, in no. is another. Oh, so try oh. the fucking okay, Jedi mind. Let me let me fuck. rephrase. Let me rephrase. I eat off plan three times a week at least. What is the quantity? Wait, last week, what did you eat? It's the quantity. Paul's right. Yeah, I know who had. Like, it's not. It's he's got a big appetite, man. Yeah. Like I've never seen. Like, someone I sat eat, down. Like, I sat down with the guys in Texas and. uh Dean White, the 212 guy that Ben's coaching, he's doing Olympia. He Ben had gave him a cheat meal for me. He gave him McDonald's for a cheat. And we fucking went in. Like just I was eating, and Dean's like looking at me. I guess Dean told Ben after he's like, What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> got a fucking tapeworm. Yeah. <laughs> what did you eat? And the what night did before, you eat? What did you well, eat? It wasn't even that bad. It was like a Big Mac, uh, a cheeseburger, a sauce, uh, McChicken, sorry, a 20 McNuggets. 20. That's plenty. A fry, a large fry, and then there was an extra Big Mac, so I ate that. <laughs> and then, uh, and then there was like me and Justin split like a half a pint of ice cream. It's not oh. that much. Oh, no way. It's like two thousand well, calories. I, oh yeah, I don't think By that made it to us. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> two. It's the like two what? Big Macs with two thousand calories. Yeah, uh, what are you crazy, guy? Let me tell you something. I don't let care. Let me tell you something, pal. I don't care. Poor shit. I don't let me care tell you anybody, something. Two thousand calories <laughs> in the pint of ice cream. I, yeah. Let me tell you. Let me say this. I don't care what anybody says about you. I love you. You make me fucking laugh. Your fucking facial expressions <laughs> just fucking kill me. I don't care um, what anybody says. He's yeah. like. <laughs> I don't care how many people say bad things about you. I love you. No, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. And then the night before, me and Justin went in on some IHOP. So that was pretty bad too. We went crazy. We got what's well, pretty bad. I gotta hear this. This is my <laughs> we, got that, we got that steak and egg burrito thing that remember we got it. We were big, in, big. Uh, oh, I had that. We had that in I, Florida. Remember the steak and egg burrito we were ordering when we went down to Gasp? I didn't order a burrito. No, not a burrito. Sorry, the steak and egg omelet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The big yeah, steak yeah. omelet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got yeah, the, yeah. Big, the big steak omelet. Uh, three pancakes, okay. uh, hash browns, okay. Uh, macaroni Donuts. cheese, what macaroni cheese? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see Jose's face. <laughs> Breakfast, <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> no, no, no. It was, uh-huh. We got IHOP at like nine o'clock at night. It wasn't breakfast. Uh, that's why. I, that's why I was like, "What? Okay." <laughs> it still sounds weird coming after pancakes. I had a craving. <laughs> I had a craving for no. I ate the. I ate Were the you mac pregnant? And first. I just oh, you think we were looking at the menu and I'm like mac and cheese and Justin's like yeah mac and cheese so we got mac and cheese <laughs> and then uh oh and a, a a fruit cup I made sure I got a fruit cup for all good you got the vitamins in there good. <laughs> <laughs> He was diet friendly. I had to get yeah. something. With the I had to get something help. <laughs> something help. <laughs> Ooh, you <leave> priest. <laughs> Please, like I got fruit in my uh, pancake. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. <laughs> that's his logic. So, uh, yeah, that was that night. Oh, then there was one night we were watching a movie, and we had. Uh... Oh my god! I thought it was three times a week. Well, it was a little <laughs> bit more when I was in Texas. Texas. He's on vacation. I was on vacation. Did you get your blood work done after Texas? <laughs> oh, no, before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But I just like got the like a walking train ride. <laughs> so what had, was the th- what was night three? Nothing. We just we had two bags of Doritos. They were like the family size, and uh, 
Justin goes, yeah, Justin, go, Justin goes, you want to watch a movie? I'm like, sure. And he's like, uh, I'm like, I'm gonna eat that bag of chips. He's like, and wait, who else was there? Me and Justin were staying in one Airbnb that was like a couple blocks from Ben and Dean. You guys just snuggling on the couch watching a movie? Well, he was on one side of the section and I, I was on the other. And we were watching What'd a movie. What did you watch? Uh, Nocturnal Animals. Sleepless in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> Still Magnolias. No what the fuck do you want us to do? We had gone out. We worked out. We did. What, we were hung out with the guys for a bit. And we were back at the house. It was like 11 o'clock. And we weren't tired. Like, What's the one with the two gay cowboys? Yeah. Oh, uh, broke oh back yeah, Mount- yeah, broke, broke back. back Mount- That's there. Broke back. Back. That's you guys are just jealous. You guys were home doing fuck all, and I was with. What did friend. you eat? What did you eat besides the two bags of so family? Anyway, so listen, so, listen. So I get the bag of chips, and Justin goes, "Hey, you, like we should, you know, let's just split that." I go, "I'm not fucking splitting this with you." He goes, "What do you mean?" I go, "I'm gonna eat these chips while I watch this entire movie. <laughs> I'm not sharing this with you." He goes, "You're gonna eat that whole fucking bag." I go. We're gonna watch a movie. It's gonna take two hours. Like a fucking <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be munching, munching on these chips. So he goes. I go. You go get the other bag. So he goes get and gets the other bag, and we sit down and we're watching the movie and we're picking out. And he looks at me like 15 minutes in the movie. He goes, "I'm glad I'm, I got my own bag." <laughs> <laughs> that was a good call. So we fucking. I had a bag of chips that night. It was pretty bad. I, I listen. I got bad eating habits. I love food. You I love all. I love, for I love all food. I've never seen anyone who can put back food like you. I just and you've gotten know. better. I have gotten better. It was, Jose, when when Jose, he was competing, oh my Jose, god! Jose can eat. Yeah, can you eat Jose still at 40, 45 or whatever it is? Not the amounts that you, but I eat. I eat a, a lot of shit. Yeah, but you eat. You eat so clean now. Every time I see you eating, it's like some quinoa and fucking. Yeah, that's thanks seaweed, to my uh, seaweed my girl. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to prepare quinoa <laughs> pasta. <laughs> Guy. Now, if I had it my way, I'd have, I do have steak every day. I have steak for breakfast, steak, steak for dinner. Why are you laughing so much? It's so funny. I didn't. I don't think, you, I don't I think there's anything wrong. I feel with so you. bad for your stomach sometimes. <laughs> what, mine? No, Jose's. Why? Dude, you? I saw a thing on. Did you see the. All the, the the vegan burgers that were like, um, uh, I posted on my story. Did you see it? All like no. the vegan shit is all coming out that it's like killing rats and fucking. Oh no, really? All, oh yeah. Really? Well, it's also highly yeah. processed. Well, Try to make up all, it's all chemical, get, it's motherfuckers. All chemical shit, man. What are you saying? Yeah. yeah, Google Beyond Beyond Meat. No, one sec. I'm just gonna go. You said it was in your stories, right? Yeah. I fucking messaged me. I said me. It says DM me and I'll get <laughs> you all in. I did that and you didn't message me back. You're a skank. What the fuck, man? What am I not I was good? Gonna, I'm not good enough gonna... for your coaching? No, that's a sexy picture. Next. You look like fluid there for a second. <laughs> I, uh... This is actually the best I've ever seen you look, guy. Thank you. You look good. Thanks. I was going to go on your Instagram live today. I noticed you had a live thing going this morning. Paul, you should. You know that's why he said that. He said it looks like Fuad. Fuad says this is the best you've ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, yeah. DM him and see if he responds. He never responds to me. Right now? Yeah, just DM him me and see what happens. What what, what am I getting out of this? Am I getting he's free gonna, coaching? He's going to coach you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could use some help, guy. Are you shadow banned again? Yeah, it's crazy. Look at it's insane. What happened? What does that even mean, shadow ban? Look you at my look at my view. Look it my... means you can't search him. Like if you search guy sister, you know, in uh in the search bar, it won't come up. I grabbed somebody's phone at the gym and I was like, Can I can I see your Instagram for a second? And I opened it up and I typed my full name in their search bar. I didn't even come up. Is it because you're uh butchering meat or something? I don't know, dude. Because I saw this video. It was actually, you know what? You're actually okay. I want to ask you. I just searched you. I found you. I want to ask a couple of things after we, we do yeah. we go through this. So what did you, what did you want me to look up the beyond meat shit? Hold on. Yeah. I posted it right before I left the gym. Maybe that's why. Riddled with mold, mold. Or dirty conditions leaked. to Oh, geez. Look at guy. He's having a feeling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can't even get your veggies right. <laughs> Shake my head. I love that's SMH. A, that's such an, that's such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> beyond. Um, so I was watching this guy. Yeah. I don't know. You're pretty aggressive. Well, not only that, I don't know. Like, if my my mom would have a heart attack if she saw this because it looks like you're throwing away a lot of meat. 
No. So, okay. You got to, okay. So keep, keep it going. I, people that said, came at me, I'm like, you guys don't understand. So there was three deer. No, I don't understand. Got. That's why I'm asking. No, no, no. So one of them, the guy cut the piss sack and the piss leaked all over the meat. Oh no. Oh, wow. The other guy gut shotted the fucking deer and didn't know how to field dress it. And there was guts all over the meat. And then one guy skinned the deer before he brought it, which I don't know why he would do, because as soon as the air hits it, it turns yeah. this fucking meat into like shoe leather. Gross. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So what people were seeing me do, I was cleaning the, getting the shit off the edges because oh. that was one of the deer that was so go And everybody's like, oh, you, th you waste so much. And I'm like, you motherfuckers don't even know what I'm even, I'm throwing away piss covered meat and shit that's got guts all over it and corn and grass. Yeah. And well, that's why I, that's why I didn't come at you. Cause I'm like, I don't know what butcher. Yeah. Do, right? I didn't. So yeah. here's if, you, if, you, if you keep watching the video, if you I, watch I will. Video, I will. Just one, just one sec. I want to ask you something. So yeah, if you get like the piss on the meat, you can't wash it off. You have to like get rid of that meat. So this is the thing. If people like a guy that gut shot the deer and didn't know how to field dress it, field dress it is when you cut the deer open and get the guts out yeah. after you kill it in the, in the, in the field. Yeah. In the woods. And oh. he goes, did you, did you guys clean the meat? And I go, we don't clean your meat, bro. I'm like, you got to learn how to, how to field dress the deer. I go, we're not going to wash your meat. I said, I Wait. did my best with cleaning off all the, like I said, I filleted and, and skinned everything off as clean as I could. I said, but you gut shot it. I go, and then you had the way you field dress it. I'm like, you covered the entire inside and like the inside of the hindquarters with all stomach bile. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you don't like, I, I throw away what I wouldn't eat. Yeah, That's yeah, my rule. If I wouldn't eat it, it goes in the garbage. But if you yeah. look, that big thing that I grind, that's all the good scraps that we grind at the end. So but yeah, there's, there, there's unfortunate that there's times where you get a lot more waste from one deer to another, but it's based on who shot it, how they cleaned it. Um, how many, some, sometimes even during gun season, we've had guys shoot a deer six times. You know how much waste that is? So, okay. I don't, under, I don't, I'm, let me just walk me through this slowly. So first yeah. of all, the people that are dropping off these deer are they friends or are they no no so my dad my dad runs a service so people that go hunt yeah. go they go hunting they kill the deer they bring it to my dad yeah they drop it off in the trailer there's a sheet it asks you what you want steaks chuck uh steaks cutlets chopped meat roast um sausage um if you want it mounted if you want um what flavor sausage you want and it just goes through the list yeah. they check off what they want we cut the deer to order package it box it they come pick it up pay us and buy that's it okay Hmm. So yeah. when you're, when they, sh when you shoot a deer, yep. so you already explained if you, you know, the, sh the piss sack explodes or the shoot it in the gut. Yep. If you shoot a deer six times, if the bullet hits the muscle and forgive me, whoever hunts, if I sound, if I sound retarded, I don't hunt. So I don't know. But when you shoot a deer, let's say you shoot it in the muscle somewhere, like somewhere other than the guts or something like, don't you just cut around the bullet or like, does that ruin something? Or if what you is that? go, so I posted a YouTube video with my dad not too long ago. And I show one of the ribs that the guy shot through. Yeah. When you put that much um, damage to an area, yeah. the amount of coagulated blood oh, that okay. it causes to that area, like you, you pull up the, the YouTube clip real quick, you could find it and you could see how, even though it goes through an area like this, the amount of damage it could do to the meat could be like this. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's also dependent. They shoot it with a slug, which oh. is one big lead round, or if it's uh, like buckshot, which sprays, it's uh -huh. well, yeah that one if you scan to like the um so i got a question guy yeah go ahead what's the ideal way to kill an animal then to shoot it in the you head shoot it right behind the front um shoulders okay. <laughs> you're flexing at your dad you don't give a fuck. no my nephew uh -huh. oh your nephew here okay your nephew, I, see your nephew. <laughs> I was like what's happening here? get him started young eh oh yes yeah, so that's how i was we should go hunting one day Fred. i want to uh, so, actually, before we before we move on from that, I just want to ask you, where was it here? Okay, yeah. So this so this uh, is this is the back leg that cut right there. I just split the kneecap. What I'm trying to get to is the patella tendon, yeah. but it was so cold that I th that sometimes you got to use force. Yeah. And this is breaking down the hind quarter. This is your femur bone right here. Hmm. See that just that what I just threw just went into the tub. That was good. See so, that bone. So Shot. that is this. So okay. So this this bucket over here. That's that's garbage. But is it? Are you, are you going to do anything with that, or is it just garbage? Garbage. Garbage. Okay. And this and bucket. That, over yes, here. that's called that's for scraps. And then you're going to you're going to grind that. Yeah. Yes. 
See that, what I just took off, all fat and disgusting shit. See that, that's called, that I keep, that piece I cut off, that's called silver skin. It yeah. would be like eating rubber. That gets yeah. thrown in the garbage. Okay. Why you don't, don't want to grind why don't, that. Why can't you grind that? Because it would, it would even, in, even in chopped meat, it yeah. would give you like that. We, you know, did you ever bite into a piece of chicken and it's like over rubbery? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that. that's, but people okay. watch this and they go, and the same thing on the other side. So this guy was the piss one. So I wanted to clean off both sides because it's, <clears> so you, you clean off the other edge. And then this, this that is all, I mean, he gets a ton of fucking chopped meat out of the deer. Yeah. So don't you me. grind it all up, eh? Yeah. Don't, don't you love uh, how people who don't know fuck all just assume? Dude, these kids got mad at me because I called them idiots, and they're like, "We didn't know." Like, like you don't what? have to call your followers idiots. I go, "No, because that's ignorant." Because instead of asking, instead of asking, hey, you're assuming. Yeah. I like. I was like, you could simply just said, "Hey, are you throwing that meat out?" Or like, "What's going on?" But you what, guys what did they say? started making jokes saying, no. "Oh, look, he's wasting all that meat." And to me, that's disrespectful. And they, yeah. then I was like, "You guys are idiots." Well, because it, it's an assumption that you're stupid or you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And it's like, well, why, why wouldn't you ask? If you've never butchered anything, why wouldn't you fucking ask before you assume anything? Because they're just, the, these kids just think they're fucking funny. Well, it's the, you know it's what I think? The internet. You know, being like, you know, maybe food, you might notice like being from Canada, like, you know, nobody, not too many people hunt in Canada. It's more of an American thing, I think. So I think people have this perception of hunters as being like meatheads for some reason. And, but like hunters seem to have like a lot of passion for it and a lot of respect for the animals and think, stuff, you know? And I think a lot of people in Canada hunt. Do they? I would say, I bet you per capita, I bet you just as many Canadians hunt as Americans. Don't you think it's more of like um, something that's kind of dying off though with generations? Like it doesn't seem to be a very popular oh, thing I'm not, anymore. I'm not saying young people, but I'm saying Canada is a very like, you know, it's not a very, there's not many urban cities. Like it's- Let me tell you something, hunting, when, when you put your gun up to shoot an animal, the adrenaline rush and like my, like the, my knees shake and tremble and like try to hold in the gun steady, and your heart is fucking racing and you're trying to control your breath. It's a very intense. It's a very intense moment before you pull that trigger. And just, it's like, it, it's just, I enjoy the hunt. It's not about killing the animal. It's about enjoying the whole entire process of hunting. You know, the waking up in the morning, the fucking going in and, you know, stalking out the animal or climbing the tree stand and waiting there for hours and, or following it for X amount of time or watching it on a trail cam. It's, it's a process. It's not like you just go, if it was that easy, they would just call it killing, right? Yeah. What, what's exactly. the biggest animal you've hunted? One sec. I wanted to. I wanted to find this out, Paul, because I was interested. Now, Ireland is actually ahead of the pack in the regard of seventy-two point eight hunters per thousand. Wow. Uh, Finland comes in second. Cyprus in third. France. Is this like just for the just for Europe? Yeah, you think the U.S. would have the most, wouldn't you think? Well, I don't know for the most, but I thought it would be up there. Yeah. What is this? Allow all. Fine. I don't care. Fuck off. Uh, oh no, this is just Europe. Oh. Uh, what percentage of Canadians are hunters? 5.7 million hunters, anglers, trappers, and sport shooters in Canada. 70% of the population. See that's the a U.S. Lot. one. That's Check a the lot. US one. That's a that lot. is a lot. Yeah, it's more than I thought it would be. 4%. Only 4%? Less than 4%. Wow. But that's, but that's right. not But that's not per capita. That's of the national population. The population is much larger, so that's not really what we're talking about. There's more hunters in general, but the popul but the percentages, I mean. Yeah, versus yeah. population, but their yeah, population yeah. is like 350 million. Ours is yeah, like, no, I, I ours know. Ours is like 30. I still thought their percentage would be higher than ours. No, I think their percentage is higher per capita. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. I, I have to find it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry, guy. No. So go back to this. So you were saying the guy shot the deer in the ribs. Yeah, I think in this one, we talk about his ribs and one of the deer's ribs. Do you know where it is in the video? Well, I don't know what, what the, the hell is that. Is. It's a fucking commercial. Fuck, I gotta get YouTube premium. I'm so cheap. Oh, neck uh, exercise. I thought guy was had a head thing. Right? <laughs> uh, so see, that's a shoulder. Yeah. One second, let me reshare with some sound. Do you hunt, Jose? Never. No, Jose never shot a gun. Never. Never shot a gun. Never. I I don't, I don't think I'd want to. Well. You can take take the take the tenderloins out. Yeah. Because we get into argument about the ribs. That's your filet mignon. I know people like that are watching the podcast might not care about this, but I'm fascinated by it. Yeah. So that's your. So what I'm taking out right now. These are that's your filet mignon. That's where your filet mignon sits. Delicious. So that's like in the chest. 
Yeah, see, so like this guy didn't take all the intestines out. So see all that shit I'm cutting out? Yeah. Like, yeah. That shit will make the meat go bad. That shouldn't be in there. So he's gonna, he's, So he should be taking that out in the yeah. being shot. Yeah. You don't leave that stuff. See? All right, can you do it now? by yourself. That's not a lot of fillet to get out of a whole animal. That's not as you gotta remember a cow is fucking ten oh, ten times size right. of that. No, no, it's no, only a yeah. hundred something pound animal. Yeah. Here, watch, watch. Might as well still be nine at this point. <laughs> see that? See that rib? See that rib? Yeah. 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 Whether you take the neck off first or the rib, ribs, don't matter. Does well, one sec. What were you saying, guy, about the rib? You're going to show. Just watch. No, no. It's, see? It's by time, there's nothing really there. That was from a bullet just going oh, through it. See how the damage you just did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this one? Same thing. So a, a bullet or, or a bow and arrow that big did right all that so damage to that meat. You did nothing different. Yeah, I'm. You love arguing with your dad, eh? <laughs> Wait to see my, me and my brother. Huh, we're not explaining I, things. I understand one. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Say, there it is. You hear that? I was waiting. I wanted him to say it. We're just pulling him right out now. Yeah, I pull him right. Do you guys ever get like road killing? Oh, this is your back strap, Fuad. To cut it, pull him, and then we leave the whole yeah. neck, I, I and then take so. Watch. Do you want me to do that? Because I'm yeah, not doing that. This comes out. I refuse to do that. Cut it and just pull it right out. Pull it right out. Is the back, back strap like delicious? Like this. Very the only good. Piece you're gonna get out of this is Look at that. Right here. I'm not. I'm gonna take the meat, take the solid meat off of it, and throw it in for the grind, and then throw the rest away. The because there's nothing there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to people watching the podcast. I'm totally like, yeah. <laughs> I'm totally like mesmerized by the fucking deer. Uh, the deer carcass. The deer cleaning. You should come. You should come one weekend, and I'll take you to my dad's. And we can butcher. I'll do that. <laughs> I'd like to do the whole process. We'll go hunting, then clean the shit. Too. I would love to see you fucking. Because I don't. People don't. People don't realize how intense it is to pull a trigger and kill an animal. It's intense. Oh, dude. I'm, sure. I'm, not, I'm not saying like that. your heart starts. Right, it's, and stabbing a pig. Forget it. When I did that with Branch, that was on another level. I stabbed a pig. Yeah. I'd be yeah, traumatized. He went, he went hog hunting with uh with with Yeah, the, the dogs take it down, you take a bowie knife and you pin it down and oh fuck. Guy, look no. at this. You'd, have been, right. you'd have been proud of me. Look. I saw. That's from like 20 yards away. I know. I was impressed. Look at that shit. There's no fuck, there's no uh <laughs> there's no fucking laser on that thing either. <laughs> a red dot laser. <laughs> There's no red dot on that shit. That's all me. There's no laser. Pew, pew, pew. I missed twice. I only missed twice. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you though, when me and Justin went head to head, because uh <laughs> like speed. Well, so I did speed. I actually didn't do bad on speed on my third try, but I didn't do bad at speed. But there's they have a tree there with uh three targets on either side. Okay. And when you hit the target, it swings around to the other side. Yeah, you gotta go ping, ping. No, no, no. You you try and hit one side. And the other guy tries to hit his side. Oh, it's like a game. And oh, that's have, cool. And you get 10 bullets each. What? And it goes back yeah. and forth? Yeah. yeah. So what you're trying to do is get all the targets on the other guy's side. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as they say go, I start, my adrenaline goes up. And I start, I'm just like, bang, bang, bang. I'm just like fucking, I missed <laughs> You didn't time. wait? You didn't wait for him to shoot? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to get him first. So I start fucking pulling the trigger. Every bullet misses. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> But I just like I won. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Of bullets. I hit one target and it swung around and Justin was like bing and it came back and I was like fuck. That's like that's it. <laughs> that's what no. you get for shooting on speed. Oh man. No, <laughs> dude. Jose, I don't know why you haven't shot a gun, but you should. Jose, you want to come shooting with me at the range of my house? Oh, it's so fun. I'll dude. do it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'll why haven't it. why haven't you shot guns till now? Because I'm never around a gun. I don't I've never had but you don't have any you don't have any interest in it you don't care no i mean i don't have people close to me that have yeah. guns yeah so it's never been it's like it, it's i think it's just honestly about how you're raised yeah yeah yeah. yeah. i was right i had a gun in my hand at five years old well you know what's funny i was always against guns i wasn't i, was, I wouldn't say against guns but i kind of like you know when the gun debates would come up i kind of always thought to myself you know these you know, the democratic side or liberal side, whatever you want to call it is making sense. Maybe we need less guns. Right. And then I sat down, had a long conversation with branch yeah, about guns and how growing up with guns is not the same as just buying a gun when you're 30 and like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. 
yeah. most people that have guns grow up with them and they're just, yeah. they're just a tool like a hammer mm-hmm. yeah and uh when he, when branch explained it to me he sat down and we talked for like an hour about it i was like you know what i, I just totally changed my mind yeah i was like that makes all the sense like for me. the people that are like oh my god against it they have to understand that if you grow up at five years old with guns in the house and shooting pheasants and going deer hunting and like he, that's just that's how i was raised yeah, yeah. yeah. there's no it's right different. or wrong it doesn't make it right or wrong it just, yeah, it's just different that's how i i was raised it doesn't make it right or wrong it could be different but it's not a it's not like doesn't make one one right or one wrong but you know yeah. what's funny i think a lot of times now and it doesn't really matter necessarily what the topic is i think people have trouble number one i don't think they talk to the person that they're against no right? they never do. and if they do they have trouble accepting that their opinion might not be right. Yeah. That, happen, people, that, that happens to me a lot. But the thing is, I have so much respect for Branch. I wanted to hear his opinion. Yeah. And I was able to absorb what he was saying. And I think also the way Branch oh. explained it, like he took his time and like really explained it to me. And like, you know, he told me they had a rifle at the front door. It was just sitting there. Dude, I, I have a gun by my by my bed, right next to my bed, loaded. Yeah. yeah. But like if people come up, like if, if, if I have people over, that gun's hidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. leave it out. Yeah. Like there's there's gun rules that I have. Like nobody knows the safe to there's my my gun safe has the code hidden behind one of the walls in my house that nobody would ever fucking think to look at. My dad knows where it is. God forbid something happens to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody you else know, knows. I, you know, being from Canada, one thing I gotta admit, like the first time I went to a place where like open carries were kind of common. It's a little bit like at first, Intimidating. Like, oh, yeah, because you're like, but I remember it, being at a gas station. There was like three or four guys at least that had guns on their hips, and I was just like, "Fuck!" Like that's see, know, you could it's, do, just, it, it's weird, it, it, you know, for us to see things. It could do, it can make you scared, right? Or if you grew up with it, yeah. it gives you a sense of security. Make you feel safe. for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So um, it's six one half a dozen the other, you know. So I mean, I get it. Like I never was able to carry a gun if I moved to Texas. I I would absolutely carry a gun. Yeah. You would you would open carry. I mean, I would. I, I don't think I need to fucking shove it in people's faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I think I, would, I think I would conceal it. Yeah, I would. I, think I, I, I would too. If I, I think I would us. conceal, and I'd, I would have one like on my dash, you know, with the magnets. They got the magnetic. Yeah. Clip. yeah. I think I would do that. Yeah. 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 I just and it's uh, not. It's not about power or thinking I'm better or being tough. It's about like the world's a crazy place, and sometimes yeah. bad shit happens at a really bad time. Like there was a shooting that just happened. That where was it, Jose, in New York? Bunch of people got killed, and the one guy was a marine who tackled the guy to the ground and beat the shit yeah. out of him. Oh, Col- wasn't that Colorado? There was a Col- I was on the news. I I, I watched yeah. the end of it. Um, yeah. but the, my my point is is that the, nobody had any protect. Like the guy had to wrestle a guy down shooting a gun. He shot up what nine people, killed somebody, mm-hmm. and like he had no, he had no, he could have if somebody That's had it. a gun, he could have just shot him, and that would have been nuts. Was that depending gay, on was that the gay shoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on where you live, you may. Yeah, it was at the or... drag show. Yeah, I thought it was like a a, big, yeah. a lot a bunch of big gay people got killed. Yeah. yeah. So, guy, do you think there should be more restrictions? Do you think there should be background checks? Do you think there should there be There are more? in Jersey, so it's you're, you're asking somebody who lives in a state where that so in order for you to get a gun in New Jersey, right? You have to apply for your gun permit and then once you get your gun permit, right? They do background checks on you, you got to get fingerprinted, you got to get your uh firearms ID card. And then in order to get a gun, you have to then apply, just because you have a, a, a firearms ID card, you then have to apply for a permit and you have to write down two non-family member references that can um, write references saying that you are will, willing and able to carry a gun and you don't have any like background of mental um, issues or suicide or any shit like that. Then once that goes to the police, then they do another background check. Then you get cleared. Then you have to go pick pick up your um, your permit. Then when you get your permits and go to buy your gun, even when you go to buy your gun, then they have to do what's called a NICS check, which is another background check to make sure from the time you got your permit to the time you purchased the gun, you didn't commit any felonies in between. So here, it ain't that fucking easy. Yeah. Okay, well, you're still lucky because here we can't even buy a gun anymore. No, not a handgun. Really? They banned handguns, yeah. Yeah, completely. My so brother, what happens? It's funny. Oh, my, what happens if you already owned a handgun? You get to keep it. So my brother, yeah. my brother, well, they're trying to buy back. Though. They're trying to get a buyback program. My though. brother uh, got his license, his gun license, and bought, I think, two or three guns before this happened. So he's able to keep his guns for now. But right. for now, I guess, yeah. But you can't, you can't uh, buy anymore. Hey, so, guy, 
I'm sorry for it. No, no, go ahead. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but are, are gun shows, is that like a loophole where background checks don't have to be done or something like that? No, gun shows, you can't buy guns. You can look. You can not, order. Not, you not, in New not in New Jersey, but you can. Oh, other states you can. Yeah, uh, gun show, okay, so gun show, a lot, a lot of times, gun shows, like shot show, you can't buy there. Like shot show is for like vendors. So I I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'm not speaking, but I know a lot of gun venues like that don't sell right there okay, okay. but some do don't they're not they're i'm, like, I'm, like... I'm sure i i don't want to speak but i know the ones that i've been to and i've been to ones out of state you it's not you can't just buy guns okay guys i'm no expert on it but i thought i'd read before that that was one of the loopholes that you know maybe needed to be closed it might be in certain one. states i don't want to speak for other states yeah all right let's move on let's move on to some bodybuilding because whoever's watching who doesn't like guns is like okay fuck we've been talking about <laughs> guns for like an hour we would um, like Deers, deer and guns. Yeah, so, so Jose's falling asleep. Okay. Well, the Redneck <laughs> Podcast. Uh, well, I'm interested in this shit, man. Sorry. Okay. It's not about them. It's about us. Well, <laughs> my podcast and I'm interested, so I want to hear about it. Resume. Uh, I do want to show. Jose, I do want to show Jose this. I saw that. I today. saw that today. Crazy. <laughs> that waste day. Eh? Jeez. Unreal. If this motherfucker can get in better condition than the Arnolds, he is gonna shock everybody. Yes, he is. I love him. Isn't he that just is. isn't that just a fucking awesome physique? It is. It's it is. Uh, he just looks like a bad motherfucker right there. Yeah. You, his you, pecs are so full, they're like stretching the skin in between. His arms, his delts, his waist uh, is so small. Jose, do you think he can beat Andrew? Because I know you're a big Andrew fan. Um, in certain shots, definitely. No, that's yeah. not what I'm asking. <laughs> um, yeah, I think his condition will be better than Andrew's. Do you think he will beat Andrew? I don't know. Um, I do. You're both judges. Paul's a professional judge, though, so maybe take his word a little bit. I'm more. super impressed with Samson, the impressed though, those oh, changes he made. I, I think he's got one of the best physiques in the Look world right now. Look at fucking that. That <laughs> is in fucking <laughs> sane. With the tiny little stomach. You yeah. got a picture of his side leg recent? Because uh, yes, I know somewhere. one of them was pretty crazy. What was that last week? Yeah, this is a week ago. Yeah, he... He certainly looked bigger than Andrew. Yeah. I just I like, think it's certain poses. I think the back is going to tell the story, to be honest yeah. with you. If his yeah. Back, if his back has come up, which mm -hmm. it looks like it has, yeah. but if it can come up, if it still looks like it's come up when he's absolutely shredded, it's going to be a problem. I agree. The fucking, when, he, when, he flex, when he stands like that, look at his adductors. <laughs> they fucking come all the way down. There's every like even like look at his quads from the front they're crazy like I know. he's he's it's got like, everything it's everything yeah he just mm -hmm. needs his back to be his back needs to stay this size at least as he gets more yes gear. yes see th that's those are the poses that are going to be tough against Andrew yeah but Andrew's back is not his best week best body part either no but they do come down he doesn't have high lats I honestly don't well, let's take a look see if we can find Andrew's. Andrew shot. I think Andrew wins a front lat spread, front double. I'll give you front lat spread. His front lat spread is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, front double, I'm not sure. Mm. The side poses I think Samson has, at least based on what I've seen last time out of Andrew. Look at that. There's Samson. That ab and thigh. That's from Arnold's? What is that from? What show is that from? This is from the Arnold. I said no. Wait, this is no. This is Prague. What? I don't know. This is a last year though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's one I want to talk about. His blessing. I, his most recent photos did not look impressive. I don't know if he's yeah. trolling that video. I think he's yeah. trolling everybody. <laughs> I don't think that's current. Uh, you think this front double buy is better than Samson's front double buy? It is pretty impressive. It is. He's good too. Yeah, he's very good. It's gonna be a fucking great Olympia. I think he needs to fix some of his posing too. A Do you bit. think that front double bicep is better than Samson's front double bicep? 
I, I think if he hits it straight on, is that how he hits yeah. it every time? Yeah. Yeah, he puts so. like a classic twist on his posing kind I of. I don't know why he does that either because he's very big and very wide. It yeah. would be more imposing if he was I mean that's that's, that's his That's shot. an impressive that's shot. Yeah. His, Jesus. His front and that would look more impressive if he brought his legs together a little bit. His front last spread might be the best in the show. Yeah. See, Samson's, Samson's the, got him the on that side side. poses I think Samson beats him. I and agree. I think the back shots too. The hamstrings aren't corded. Um and the back I'm sorry, this back is not any more impressive than Samson's. Can we see if his he comes in, side? if he comes in this condition, Samson will beat him. I think he'll be harder than this. I don't think he's going to show up to the Olympia like this. It's his third show this year, though, too, isn't it? I think Samson's last spread is more impressive than that. I think he... personally, if not more impressive, it's the same. It's yeah. definitely thicker. Yeah. yeah, Samson's thicker everywhere. It's just this guy's just got Andrew's look. wider. And Andrew's yeah, Andrew's. A he seems Andrew's like, wider and Samson's like thicker. Andrew's structure. He's got that right aesthetic Flex yeah. Wheeler type of look that you it draws the eye. So we'll take a look at Blessing real quick because I feel like this is a troll. <laughs> it's got to be. This can't be. Where the fuck did it go? Well, I think it was on buys and tries, wasn't it? Was it? I think he went and visited the NPC office and because he was doing it right in front of their logo. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Sorry. Is uh, is Brett going to win a show this weekend? Is it this weekend? Yeah, I think it's Sunday, right? He looks absolutely fucking peeled to me, but he looks like he sacrificed some leg size to get that condition. Mm -hmm. I I think it might be the camera angle too, because it, it could looks be, a little it could weird. be. Mm -hmm. But like his, I feel like he's more shredded than I've ever seen him. He's peeled, but I think he mm -hmm. sacrificed. And I mean, this could be because he still hasn't filled out yet, but. But uh, that seemed to be his. Uh, that was I think, the, the issue in w against Baruz. Yeah. Uh, where is that fucking video of blessing? Maybe it wasn't bias and tries. I thought it was though. No, I think it's. Uh... Did you? Oh, Let's see if it's here. I just I gotta see if you guys saw the same thing I did. The hell I saw it today. Where was it? Does anybody what know? Blessings tagged photos. Oh, that's a good idea. I can't find it either. What the hell? Did he have it all removed? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was. Fucking... What the hell are these tagged photos? Are all these people. I don't know. He probably doesn't monitor his shit. That's one there. of them. That's one of them. This is not, not. This is not five. Five weeks, weeks out. out no I way. I'm not buying it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I agree. With his underwear there. <laughs> he, he's got to be trolling everybody. Look at this is like. No. You think that's. The video the looked stretched and shit. It was weird. Yeah. This is not. There's no way this is what he looks like right now. I don't think that was the same picture. Yeah, it is. Same is picture. it? Yeah. That's same. the one I saw today? This is the, the most recent one I'm talking about. Maybe I think it was that one. Yeah, I think it was this one here that but I it's saw. All the same, but it's all the same posing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was that most muscular that I or that. I mean, there's it could be lighting. I guess there's some striations here, his feathers and his quads and stuff. But this I looks, think you're right. I think he's fucking with people. What do you think, guy? Is he fucking with everybody? Uh, I mean, or does yeah. he just get? Or does he just get? I think it, I think blessing has an impressive physique. That's not impressive for five weeks out. If that's the case, oh, I mean, he could be in the worst lighting ever. And, but, yeah. but on that layout lighting looks atrocious. I think he was great in New York. That think, that ab shot right there is that's yeah, wild. It's, yeah, it's incredible. I think knowing blessing, he's fucking with everybody. Yeah. Because I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he. Looks Go to like the that. picture where he's picking his sponsor. The video. Yeah. This one. He. I mean, I'm trying to see. He looks pretty lean there, right? Well, yeah. I mean, his arms are. Oh, you're trying to see if he yeah, like in one of these videos. No, I think it's real. Just bad lighting, real. Maybe? And he might bloat a lot when he flies or something. Just flew into Pittsburgh that morning. <laughs> Grainy, this is. What does that take it from a fucking? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> it's Victor Richards. Yeah, like him. Oh, blessings, great. <laughs> Anybody else want to look at? 
What, like, Olympia contenders, you mean? Well, we should look at Nick, because Nick's most recent photos look pretty fucking crazy. Put it this way. Even if that's real or even if it's trolling, I don't have him beating no. Andrew or Samson no. or pretty much say, anyone in the top 12. I will say, though, this is pretty impressive for Nick's stomach. Yep. So tired. This looks him, make him look, makes him look much better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's dynamite. Was there another picture where he blew his stomach out or something like that and people were talking about it? It was There's... a video. Oh, okay. There were video screenshots in where between th- poses. Where do you think this place is, Jose? Is he going to win? Uh, I, I, I don't know that he's going to win, but he's definitely in contention. I, I, I want to put him in the same area he was last year, but maybe a step higher, uh, better. Yeah. Fourth, yeah, fifth, somewhere in there. I definitely see him in the top five. Yeah. Like this this quarter turn is fucking nasty. See, all different lighting. He looks t- d- way different. But he still looks good, even in a different lighting. Though. Yeah. Like I don't, you know, I mean, this lighting's not the greatest. I don't like the, like there's some filter on this or something. Yeah. I don't know what they yeah. do to it, but. Pictures just don't do him justice either. I don't well, think Andy's pictures... fucking whiter than a baby's ass. But wait winter. a second. Honestly, it's funny you said that. I don't think pictures do a lot of these guys justice. Yeah, I mean, no, definitely yeah. not. I was in Texas with fucking Hunter. Honestly, I think Hunter might be the one that suffers the most from that. He does well, not look nearly as big in pictures as he looks in real life. I was fucking yeah. blown away yeah. when I got there. I'm like, this is he's insane. he's your height, right, Fuad? No, he's like an inch or two shorter. Shorter than you? Yeah. What are you? You almost I'm five ten? Like five nine. So he's, he's, like, he's five, like five eight. eight. Yeah. Really? And he was two seventy when I was there. He's five fucking eight, two seventy. Jeez. Like that's, that's crazy. Like, but it, it's funny because you look at him in pictures, you're like 240, 250. Yeah. And you see him in real life, you're like, what the fuck am I looking at? And so, he's so well balanced. Like, and I think he's that's got why, everything. And I think that's why people don't judge him the same way they judge Nick or Hottie or Derek, because I don't think you can see it as clearly. That detail. And he mm. also needs, and he also needs to come in condition. He needs to, he needs to bounce back from last year's, uh, last Hunter? year's, last year's shape. Yeah. Hunter. If Hunter, if Hunter shows up in better condition, than he showed up last year. I think they'll reward him for it. Yeah. But I think yeah. if, if he shows up looking the same in the same condition, I think he might slip. Because this yeah. year is well, much. A, it's a tougher lineup. Well, that's what I'm saying. For, it's a much tougher yeah. lineup. So if he shows yeah. up, if he shows up in the same condition, I think he'll be somewhere like seventh, eighth, ninth. Yeah, yeah. You know? I agree. He's got to bring a better package. So that being said, just for fun, all right, let's revisit this real quick. You motherfucker! <laughs> Can't help himself. One Wasn't second. there some recent pictures of Hottie Two Foot? Yeah, one sec. I want to see if I can find something. Yeah, there was a most muscular. He had a tank top on though, but you could tell he was ridiculous. Yeah. I think it might be Hottie's year. I might switch my number one and two spots. Milos has Samson winning? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna answer. Shit. Who? Milos. I want to get uh I want to get his predictions. Did you see the picture of Derek showing his quads yesterday? Yeah. No. Crazy? His, yeah, his legs are really, wow. really really crazy. He's so hard to place in this lineup. Derek? Yeah, cuz I, I don't know him, where to I have him fourth. Yeah, he could he could be anywhere from like third to, you know, 10th, 9th, I don't know. People are saying he's going to be too small, but I don't see him being any smaller than Hottie. And Hottie was third. Yeah. Uh, is this one? Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are big legs. Nasty. Yeah. And they're cross striated a bit here already. Yeah. His shape is crazy. Insanity. Love All shape. he's got to do is hold on to that. Like, don't yeah. do anything crazy. Freak. Well, he works uh, with Hani, doesn't he? When you're working yeah. with Hani. Yeah. You're gonna imagine be- how small his waist is going to look when he hits a front double with those legs. Mm-hmm. We've never seen that yet. I'm, I'm telling you guys, up. man, I'm, I think he's going to be top five. I think I'm going to move him up. People have him like in 10th, 
I'm like, I don't fucking think so. No way. No. If he's in shape, I'm telling you, he's going to crack the top five. You figure Hani's going to have him in shape for sure. He, you know, Hani's. Uh, I'm just saying, you never know, right? Because it's like all I'm all the only reason it's not because Hani. I have all the confidence in the world for Hani. It's because he's put on a ton of muscle. Yeah. And that could be easier to get in shape, or maybe they don't peak the same because yeah. he's got more muscle. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's tricky that way, but I'm saying if he gets it right, which Hani does 99% of the time. Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't know. Nasty. Fuck, okay. it's such a tough, it's such a tough top 10 to pick. Right, it's, well, it's not even so much that he's put on a lot of muscle. It's he didn't take it off. This yeah. Year. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was huge last year before the Olympia. And then he, he had to lose it all to, to make weight. He must have had to kill himself to make weight in past years. He's a former wrestler. He, he has no problem oh, sucking probably. the weight off, but his his body took a pounding in doing so. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's see. Are we making any changes? Yeah. So, Paul, you're here. I'm fl- I'm fl- I'm switching Rami and Hottie. You think Hottie's gonna win? I do. Oh my god, that's a bad call. I, I, I think I, no, it's not. Um... You're a horrible judge. <laughs> I want to put. I want to put. I want you to switch. One second, real quick. One second. I just want to see something. I want to see what Paul's seeing. In what? Well, Hottie, Hottie is impressive, but I don't think he's that impressive. So I want to see what Hottie saw that, or what Paul, what Paul saw that made. Hey, remember last year at the finals, I believe he even had a couple first place votes. He's fucking impressive. Look at that. He's all tits. <laughs> <laughs> and those delts look good. They don't look like. Yeah, overly done. Uh, uh, a little shiny. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just joking. Like, <laughs> he's got some scar tissue, but there's nothing funky. I know. I'm with. just joking. I'm just joking. Someone's look at that. Yeah. <laughs> no, his shoulders do look better. You can see they little, do. A little yeah. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. The shoulders look great. I've always the only thing that throws me off about Hottie's physique, and this is really nitpicking, but the tricep is a little short. You ever notice that yeah. when he when he does yeah. that, like the tricep is very short to the elbow the attachment. Yeah. 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 It leaves a little I, bit of gap here where it yeah. just leaves something to be desired. I love, I love his caption. I could just laugh. I took what? this video a long time ago, but nowadays I've become more beautiful. <laughs> Objects are closer to you than what you see here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he impresses me. I, I, I think it's his year. Do you think he's going to win? I do. Wow, you're the first person I've heard say that. Am I? Am I the only one that has him right now? Yeah. Yeah. How much we just look? Today? Not that, that much today. Not that much today. In order for him to win... Rami has to be off. So does Brandon. But those last pictures we saw of Rami, with his quads to me were starting to it just distracting. I think it's just distracting a little you bit from his aesthetics. those dimples in his quads are that big a deal? Are you fucking serious? The last pictures that I saw, I thought it was distracting, yeah. Uh, I, I, it, it, they did bother me too. I think people are making a lot about nothing. Can I see it again, please? No, I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. They're there. I I, it, it, I remember it, it really stuck out to me though it was it was just distracting from the physique to me. Paul, you asked to see that like this was a game show. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not going to show those legs again until showtime. I know, yeah. Right? Well, there you can see it right there. There's a couple. That, that looks not, pretty damn good, dude. That doesn't do anything. That wasn't. That, that was. That, wait, hold on. Go to it. Yeah, look, right. that's not the same oh, picture we looked at last time. This is this is 2020. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody, relax. You can actually see it in the side shot. I just don't think it's that big a deal, man. I've seen guys with divots and shit in their quads all the time. The last time we looked at this, though, when we I don't know what picture was you brought up, but it was very distracting to me. Well, because he's leaner. So when he's leaner, they look worse. Like, you can see yeah. it there, but the lighting's washing it out. Yeah. He posted a picture. It was a video, I think, of his guest. Yeah. Season. He probably took it down immediately. That's right. It was, yeah. Is it that? What did click on that one? Didn't he take his pants off somewhere in here? Thought so. Why can't I fast forward? They should make it so you can fast forward these things. Unless it's no, it's gotta be long, like a a real. Take off your pants. Come oh, on. Was... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking waist is great. Yeah. When people say Rami has bad shape, I'm like, who the fuck are you looking at? I don't. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would say that. This guy's six feet wide, and he's got a thirty-inch waist. Like, yeah. what are we talking about here? Uh, it's not there. Hmm. Not there. No. He must have deleted it. I don't know if it was on his page or. 
Dennis's page. I'm sure we could find it somewhere. It's not that big a deal. I just don't care that much. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Just go, going back on those pictures, I was distracting to me, and I. So those shoulders a little more distracting than than Hardy's. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Those things are pointing uh... up towards the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird he's so big he kind of gets you think that's you think that's yeah. peds or that's sco i, think I just PEDs. think it's regular shots yeah just yeah. Like, i don't think there's any need to be putting okay oil wait, in I, got, I got uh one second i think anything that he did mistakenly was years ago yeah by other coaches mm, yeah all right you know, Chad so this is it, this is it here Polly. you got a hole there yes yeah so you think that's enough to make him lose uh well i'm not gonna say that alone no dorian um, was born bicep so i mean yeah, dorian had half very an true hour, half an hour um anyway. yeah no i i don't want to say that that's gonna make him lose i i just think overall i just like hotties look a little bit better and it might come down to that that small of a detail though if it's that close between those two I just, you know, it, I'll tell you what though, that's like the driest I've ever seen his legs. I gotta, I gotta be honest, man. I don't, and I'm really not just a fucking fanboy of Rami. I've never seen something like this determine a show, ever. No, I've seen, I, I, I've seen guys with tears. I've seen guys with like, you know, like serious tears, not like this. Like, you know, yeah. like Tony Freeman had a torn bicep. I was like half, or sorry, tor torn pec. Yep. It was like half a peck, and he still took fifth at the Olympia, looking the best he's ever looked. Yeah, right. Dorian won Olympia with a torn Dorian, bicep. Dorian won Olympia with a torn bicep. Look, like click on that uh, that picture right there, 2022 Olympia, front double bicep with blue trunks on. It started in 2020, 2020. Oh, you yeah. can see the holes there. Yeah, yeah, they're there. I think what they said was he was doing shots, or they somebody was doing shots for him, and now that they're trying to dig it out, it's leaving like a gap. Wow. So I just don't. But I see. Went, sorry to cut you off. I, I just I thought it was very close between him and Hottie last year at the finals. Very it was, close. It was very close. Yeah, and 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 I, I I even had Hottie winning some of those poses. Sure. So if Hottie's better and Rami's the same, and you know, and that is becoming more of an issue, though those tears or whatever they are, then I, I you know, see my Hottie. my I think my prediction comes because I don't think Rami's going to be the same. You think he's going to be better? Better. Well, I mean his his pre show photos already look better. But how yeah. much better can he get? Well, he can get a lot better. I don't think he was a lot. He Where? wasn't his best last year. He was just wasn't as peaked as properly last year. So just just conditioning. Like if you like, look at if you look at 20, 2020, when he won the first time, he was yeah. far better than he won when he won the second time. So I think if he goes back to his peak condition that he was in in twenty twenty, I don't. And with the added, he looks like he's got some added size. I don't think anybody can touch him. That's just my opinion. I don't know, Josh, Jose. Yeah. How do you feel? It's I know I agree with you. I think this is a guy, a two-time Mr. Olympia that we've yet see to see peak. Yeah, you know we've yet to see him at his best. And if and if we do, then it's game over. Would you Even agree? With the would holes you, in his legs. Would you agree that these pre-show photos look better than we've seen in the past? Absolutely. Yeah, he's just got a drier look to him. Guy, you know, when he's think? really. Really I think it shows up more impressive. It's, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. Do you? Does anybody here think, including you, Paul? Because I know you said the leg, the leg thing is an issue for you. Do any three of you think that it will be a deciding factor? Oh, I think if he loses, it will be I don't like the deciding how, factor. I don't okay. like how it looks, but I don't think that's going to be a make it or break it. Let me ask you this: If he's in shape, will that matter? Let's just put it that way. No. No. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think if yeah. he loses, it's going to be because some other factor is. So let me let me I ask think you this: If he though. loses, that's going to come up. If, oh, yeah, if, yeah, 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 yeah. If him and Hottie are both better than they were last year, by whatever you know, a little bit. Yeah. Do you still have Rami beating him then, based on like if they're both at their best? Well, I mean, Rami beat him last year, not at his best. Yeah. Now, like, did he beat him at the finals too, or did Hottie actually? I think I think it was one of the nights Hottie won. I think but, I mean, Hottie I was second at, at finals, or maybe he, he okay. beat Brandon. Yeah, I don't know if he beat. Okay, Brandon. that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, but I uh, mean, but Rami was straight first for. Uh, I think Rami won last year, and he was not at his best. 
So I think if he's yeah. better than last year, it only stands to reason that yes, he's going to win. Even if the other guys are better, he's going to be better. The only way he doesn't win is if he's worse than last year or the same, and other people are better. And and that and that's hard to believe based on the fact that he's already looked better than he did last year. Yeah, I mean, unless Chad fucks up his peak, he's already harder than he was like last year at this time from photos I remember. But yeah, I don't know. This I'm still going hotty. All right, so let's go back to your picks. I'm not trying to talk you out of them. Yep. Uh, this is good for me because we're going to make a bet on this. You're going to have to pierce another nipple. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't say we're betting Wait. anything. We're, uh, we're, you guys to make these bets and you got to do anything. I'm the only guy who's got to do something. Why? Well, you're you're the normal nipple. with fucking bad decisions, you idiot. I've shaved my head. I've grown mustaches. Oh, I've shaved shit. Nipples. Hey, hey. Big better shit, shit, bro. Piercing. I can't even see guy. He's just yelling from somewhere. Oh, First of all, nipple? that's because I got my dick in my hands. I'm taking a piss. Oh. Secondly, maybe if you knew bodybuilding a little better, you're the judge. <laughs> the worst fucking picks in the entire podcast. You're a judge and you suck at picking fucking bodybuilders. You so guys did you, Paul. I you hope guys, you guys three nipples. Stop you guys yelling. are supposed to be growing your hair until Olympia, I thought. I see... I don't see God, anybody. Why didn't you wash like, your hair? Jose is the only guy that was great, Jose, by the way, who I see growing his hair. What? Well, we all decided that the bet was off, so we all came to an agreement. But I can't do that when it's my bets. I can't well, just decide that you, they're off. You made a singular bet. You made a group bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, Nick wasn't supposed to shave his beard, and he did. Yeah, Nick lost the bet because he shaved his beard. He wasn't supposed to. Oh, that but, would be savage. Okay, um, well, I still got time to change that. I shaved my beard once when I lost a bet. Yeah, but that girl's right back. You're like I On sh- camera. What yeah, I grew my hair out for a very long time. I think I think the loser should have to get a tattoo. I think oh, me and Nick, me and Nick, me and Nick made a bet that I'm sure he won't follow up on. But he was supposed to get hostile tattooed on his, on his body, ass on his body <laughs> if he didn't win the Olympia. <laughs> I heard he just said, could you imagine, legally, could you legally imagine, make him fuck? Imagine how much funnier that would be now. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> He probably got to change it something else now. Yeah, he would tell me to fuck Wait, off. What did you have to get? I don't remember. I don't remember what we did. But anyway, we should still do the tattoo thing. And the loser should have to. We should pick one tattoo that everybody has to get. Oh my like lips, God. lips or something. Everybody, everybody Gotta get the other guys an imprint Does of the other guy's lips. Does anyone have a tattoo? I have anyway? two. I got one. Two. I got one. Oh yeah, you got that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say, that, that, that gay tribal <laughs> that you, you fucking the gay fucking tribal on your arm. Oh, you got, you got the barbed wire, what right, guy? What have he's got a fucking yeah. Chinese star? No, I don't. I got the Chinese symbol. Oh yeah, Paul, you, Paul has a Chinese symbol. I do. It's like this that's big the, too. It's tiny. But that's like girl shit. I know. I was drunk. <laughs> he was <laughs> like so wasted. I was drunk. <laughs> Uh okay. Let's do some rate your physiques. Wait a minute. We're gonna okay, we're gonna right away right after this. We're gonna do some rate your physiques. Okay, Paul. Hottie, Rami. I want to see mine too. I want to move Samson up to the fourth spot and Bonac down to the fifth spot. Excuse me. How's Ian looking? Have you seen him? He yeah, he looks good. Yeah. I mean, I'm only seeing what you're seeing, but he looks awesome. As far as I'm I don't want to, I don't want to swap Derek and Hunter. I think Ian has made huge progress in the last two years. I think Ian's going to look totally different at the Olympia. Like very consistent. You think Hunter's going to be ninth? Who? Paul. <laughs> Paul oh. has Paul has Hunter in ninth. No, I don't think he'll be nice. The only way the only way that happens. Well, let me tell you something. No matter what you pick, he's gonna do that with somebody. And no, 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 no. Yeah, you're right. I just just don't think I think unless Hunter's out of shape, there's no way he slides to nine. What was he last year? Fifth uh, fifth? fourth. 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 That's such a much tougher. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Is that it? Is that all the changes? For now. For now. Okay. Guy. Um, give me one second. I got changes though. Jose, you keeping yours? Yep. Rami, Bonac, Brandon. That's a bad that's a bad one too. That's gonna lose. <laughs> Which one's a bad one? <laughs> What's a bad one? Jose, Jose's picks are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's trying to get your head. <laughs> he, don't let him, Jose. Paul knows, Paul knows, <laughs> Paul knows me so well. <laughs> I'm not changing anything. I want to switch. Look at this Bonac second. That's Hold on. Happen. I want to switch. <laughs> hey. I want to switch Nick, Nick and Hottie. 
Nick and Hardy. But Nick in third? I can see that. Does it look like Paul? <laughs> Just clarify. I can see that. I uh, like that a lot. You can both kiss my behind. No, that's you got good. Samson. A, you got Samson a knife guy and Bonac an eighth. You think Derek's going to beat Hattie? Me? Yes. Got yes. You, really? Well, yeah, Paul, is... bad judge with <laughs> fucking nipple piercing. I do. This is, this is fucking. <laughs> this is worse than fucking Paul's. What the fuck am I looking at here? Really? Hotties in fifth? What the I fuck? Guys got, oh, guys fuck are gonna... you know what? You can fucking suck the old project. I think, project. I, think, I, think, I, think, I think, get the fuck think, out of here with that. Yours, yours are going to be the worst, I think, guy. <laughs> Bonax in eighth. Guy's going to get killed here. Yeah, I think so. Bonax in eighth. That's a great fucking lineup, and you know it. <laughs> what, what's Bonax guy's tattoo going to be? What? You got to get a rainbow. Well, we all going to get one. We're all going to agree on a tattoo that we have to get. Do a switch at the end. So maybe I'm waiting till maybe I'm waiting for the last second. Switcheroo. (laughs) Maybe I'm the one playing the game, Paul, not (laughs) Fuad. I got to make some changes too, I think. Okay. Ben's picks are a little bit different to it. Ben, did, ben didn't care. Ben literally went blah, 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 blah. Okay. But if he knows he's got to get a tattoo. Imagine he gets it right, though. <laughs> Not even like yeah. Thinking. He uh, picked Hunter to win. Well, he was Derek fucking... He, he didn't want to do it, and I made him, so he would just uh, list, listen I mean, to a bunch of names. Oh, Hunter, is, he get, is he exempt because he's training? Hunter in one. Hunter. Wait, 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 wait. Is Ben exempt because he's training Hunter? Yeah. Hello. How are you? What? You're, you're on the po- you're on the podcast. Say hi to everybody. Milos. Yes. <laughs> Misko. I need you for I need you for five minutes. Okay, so we're doing the the predictions for the Olympia. Oh shit. And I have a spread. Can you see this? I have a spreadsheet here. You each guy's got each that. guy's got their picks. So I wanted to ask you if you could give me your pl- pick. I'll, I'll have you on the podcast so we can break it down. But just for now, okay. Just for now, okay. Unless you unless you want to log on, and I'll just send you a link. Yeah, I mean, uh, is this going on right now? Yes, you can just jump on for yeah, jump me on for five minutes. Okay, I'll send you. I'll send you a link right now. Okay. Okay. Bye. He's gonna hate that he agreed to this. No, he's not. He loves doing this shit. Interested to hear his picks. Milos is a genius. But you know I'm going to rip on him as soon as he picks his picks. Yeah, play the same mind games you, with, <laughs> with him that you do with me. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to go, Milos, really with that? <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to sound like Jose so it confuses him even more. Jose, you really think your yours are the best picks? Yeah, I, I do. do. You have Andrew in 10th. That's a hell of a top 10. Hmm. I don't like how you have Hottie in fourth. Hey, Paul, oh, you have I, where do I have Hottie, you <laughs> fucking loser? Where do you have him? Oh, guys, I'm in fifth. You want to know why he's fifth? There? He doesn't <laughs> follow me, so that's where he gets put. Paul has. He doesn't follow you? He doesn't follow doesn't me. Know who you either. are? Nope. There's no, I'm, I'm, gonna take well, him, gotta, I'm taking him out of the top 10. You got to forgive him, though. He lives. He lives who doesn't there. follow you? Hottie. That's why he's in fucking seventh. Well, really? Not, have you ever met him? Well, now yeah. we know how a guy makes his picks. Whoever talks to yeah. him the most. Yeah, whoever likes a guy. Rami doesn't talk to you. Yeah, I, I, me and Rami are actually really close. Oh, you really? How often do you talk to him? <laughs> I get pictures sent and he, I get pictures and videos sent to him on WhatsApp fucking privately, you fucking loser. How often? More often than you do. That's all that matters. Once a month? <laughs> do you get do you have great conversations afterwards? We talk and we smoke cigars and we tell each other fucking lullabies. You tell stories. <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> uh, where the fuck is? Tell, you know what he told me? He hates this podcast. I know he does. He told me that too. Why? He doesn't. I'm just joking. Oh, so, you're so stupid. He sends me I love you messages all the time. Does he? Yeah. He's he's probably one of the nicest people you ever yes, meet. He's yeah, yeah. He seems like it. Definitely. He's uh, got like a childish. Gentleness to him. My brother. Sent to iCloud email. Where is he? Come on, fucking Milos. Gotta get the show on the road. We gotta do some rate your physiques. 
Yeah, fuck Milos, who didn't know that we were having this podcast. You called him last minute. How dare he fucking not hustle? How dare he not be ready? <laughs> um, for those people watching, uh, we're going to pick some Rate Your Physiques to do. The Rate Your Physiques are going to be on the Hostile app. Uh, so after you're done watching this, download the Hostile app. It's available for iOS and Android, and you can watch the Rate Your Physique episode there uh, and see if you got rated. But don't send me fucking shitty messages if you get rated poorly, because it's not my fault. Yeah. We're just Stop being, by fire, motherfuckers. We're just being honest. If your physique sucks, it's not my fault. It's, it's Paul. For, it's <laughs> yeah. Paul if your physique sucks, no, yelling, I'm here for that, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were frozen, Paul. You were I was frozen. watching Guy. I, I thought he was using this tool that that uh, that we have here at home. What That's tool? not the same thing. See, yeah. Like a sex toy, fucking. No, toy. my wife, Tony, bought this thing. It's not a. It's like a spatula with another blade in the middle, so it crushes the beef. When you're making ground beef? No. <laughs> I, I can go get it and show you. We don't just smack you in the ass with this, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Milos, what's up, brother? Hey, here, here I am. Let me just uh, uh, blow up the full screen. Okay. This first time I'm actually on a laptop doing a Zoom. It's okay. You look great. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Young, look, you look like a 35 year old man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank How's it you. going? You you know Paul? Paul is up in the right corner. Hey Paul, our... yeah, I, we I never those... met, but uh, I, I I watch you. It's a pleasure and, meeting uh, you. And you know yeah. guy, you know guy and Jose, obviously. Of course, the guy Jose. Oh, here's Jose. Hey, what's <laughs> happening? Hey, uh, I, I told. I, told I you. watched it. Yeah. Did you see I it? I already watched it. What? What? And he called me and he said, "How dare you think you beat me?" <laughs> exactly. What did I miss? What are you talking about? He went uh, on. Uh, Flex's podcast, and he was like, yeah. "Oh, Jose said he that he thought he should have beat you." And Flex was just like, oh, well, you know. and, uh, and then he went into the long soliloquy about his how Neil wasn't there and he couldn't get his food and he uh, weighed too light. I'll be famous Milo, in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna... Milo, Milos, do you have us all on the screen right now, or just one at a time? Yeah, actually, I have them. I have you guys all on the screen because. Okay, okay. Of yeah, I've seen you all. Even so, though it's a, it's a right corner, I, I can't really see us. No, no, that's what I'm saying. So if you go to, um, there's a little button that says view. If you click on that, uh -huh. it, you click on gallery, not speaker. Oh, okay. Oh, that much better. Okay. Yeah, you, have, you have all of us now. At yeah, yeah, good, good. All right. I'm going to bring up the uh, spreadsheet we have here. And you can take a look at Paul. Paul's picks are horrible, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.